have not talked about Jason Williams, but white chocolate is part of like the handles revolution. Like in the 90s, if you had good handles, it probably meant you had a killer crossover, like Kevin Johnson or Tim Hardaway. But then there's this whole generation of players that elevate the pass and the dribble to just like a newfound height. Starting with God, Sham God, then you got Allen Iverson out there, and then there's guys like Jason Williams and Raper Alston. The moves you see like a Kyrie doing right now, these guys were doing in the early 2000s. They just maybe didn't have the jump shot or were missing another part of their game. I saw Lou Williams come out and say that he thinks he deserves to be a Hall of Famer. As ludicrous as that sounds, I do see a case for a guy like Jason Williams or Ray for Alston. Certainly not as a player like a Michael Jordan, but as a contributor like a Jerry Buss. Jerry Buss introduced the world to the Lakers girls, and that made basketball more enjoyable for some people. Jason Williams introduced us to insane dribbles and passing. That made the game more enjoyable for a lot of people. And we are just going to completely gloss over the fact that he shot below 40% from the field for his career.